Hello YouTube, today I have another iPad 3 or new iPad tutorial for you today and uh, this is about the floating keyboard problem you're probably on this tutorial because uh, you have gone to compose an email or type in a website I don't know what you've done whatever you have done to need to use the keyboard and your keyboard is now in the middle of the screen floating and this is really annoying because uh, you can't see anything that's on the page when you're trying to type and it's meant to be down here two reasons why this could have happened uh, you could have split the keyboard and accidentally moved it up because obviously you can split the keyboard which is I don't know why you do that um, and the other reason is you would have clicked here and uh, undocked the keyboard so I'm just going to quickly show you how you fix this problem and um, if it happens during the future you know how to do it so uh, what you need to do is you need to uh, open up a app that's going to allow you to type so at the minute I'm just in notes so anything that will open up your keyboard so your keyboard's open now and it's floating in the middle of your screen and what you want to do is you want to go here and you don't want to tap on this because that will do that what you want to do is is you want to hold this button and then it will say dock and split and you want to press dock and then now your keyboard is where it should be or where I think it should be. Um, so that is basically how you do it. And obviously you can speak your keyboard, etc. So uh, I hope that really short video has helped you with this. Uh, the only reason I knew about this was because uh, it happened to me. It was really annoying and I was just trying to play around with the buttons thinking there must be something to uh, fix this. And uh, there it is. So it's polled and dock. But if you do like it in the middle, you can undock it and put it back there. So, there you go. Hope you enjoyed that video. And if you want more tutorials and more iPad 3 reviews, and you want to be alerted about them, just follow at General Tech HQ on Twitter now, and you'll be alerted when I upload a new video. Also, make sure you subscribe. Hopefully I'll be getting 100 subscribers in the next couple of weeks, and I will be making a video including all the names of my subscribers. So make sure you're involved in that. Thanks for YouTube.